Hello there. In this video we will talk about the Philippines Trays app complete step-by-step -step procedure. We will discuss what is the Trays app and then answer if this is required to enter the Philippines. Then we will walk you through the whole process. From Download and Installation Registration Activation and then show you with a demonstration how this app is supposed to be used at the Philippine airports. We will also answer some of the most common questions about trays. Let's begin. What is trays? Trays is the official, unified and automated free contact tracing app in the Philippines. Who is required to install it? The trays app is not a new app, in fact, the Department of Transportation, have required all airport passengers in and out of the country to download and register an account in the TRAYS contact tracing app since November 28, 2020. TRAYS is required from all people entering and leaving domestic and international airports in the Philippines. Now, before we go to the step-by-step -step procedure, if you are still in doubt, because a lot of Filipinos who had traveled to the Philippines claimed that the TRAYS app was not used at all. We trust that what you said is true based on your experience, however, we still recommend that other passengers install the Trays app, because not all passengers' experience will be the same. Because, in the guidelines by the airlines flying into and out of the Philippines, it is stated there that Trays is mandatory. Let's look at Philippine Airlines. If you check both arrival and departure guideline, you will see that Trays is a mandatory app. The same is true in Saudia, it says there that trays is mandatory in the Philippines. In Japan Airlines, it specified that trays is required in the Philippines. In Qatar Airways, trays is a must in the Philippines. Emirates, trays is a required app in the Philippines. Okay, we can go on and on, but I am sure that all airline guidelines will tell you that trays is required. I will leave the decision to you but I highly recommend that you do install it. So, if you are convinced that you need to install and register, then let's proceed. If not, I would recommend that you please check with your airlines. Step 1 is download and install. Go to the App Store or Play Store, or whichever exists on your smartphone. Type Trays, then install. After the app is installed, open it, and it will look like this. Just click Proceed and allow the Trays app access to your camera and gallery. Then we can proceed to the next. Now click on Start Tracing. Read the very long terms of use and click I agree. Click on Start Tracing again. Now we can go to Step 2 which is Registration. Click on Register. Then here click Individual. Let's zoom a little bit. This is what you should select. Individual. Then you will be asked to create a username, password, and some other details. Now you have to remember your username and password, I suggest to write it down somewhere convenient and accessible to you before your flight. Then, you have to click this to upload a profile picture. Let's repeat, you will register as individual, then read the very long terms of use, then click I agree. Then you will need to upload your picture, complete your personal information, then after you have to enter the verification code, then your registration is complete. You can click on Trace Me to see your Trace account and QR. You can click the profile and there you will see your information. The third step is activate your account. To do this, you have to log in using the details you provided earlier. So during registration you created a username and password. Now, just input your username and password and click login. And then this will appear, just click activate account. Enter the verification code, and it's done. Your account is activated. Now let's go to the most interesting part, how are you supposed to use it at the airport? When you enter the airports in the Philippines, you will see the QR code of the airport you have to trace it. It's going to record the place, the time and date when you were there. In case of a coronavirus transmission, you will be notified. When you are at the airport, open your Trace app, and then click Trace QR code. 
and it will look like your camera activated. To scan the QR code of the airport, simply hover over the QR code. Then you have successfully traced the airport. At Mctansibu Airport, you can find something like this. If not just ask the airport staff. In Clark, at the entrance, you will see the QR code. And of course, also in Manila. Thanks for watching. If you find this information helpful, please like this video. We also appreciate your comments and feedback. Consider to subscribe to get to see more updates like these. See you on the next update, and have a safe flight to the Philippines.